Well, Patrick, an Ozploitation killer in a coma classic. Wow. Oh. Let's put it on. That's just plain rude. They could ship that bed back, surely. And this is our friend Patrick. Well, I think Patrick and I are going to get along just... Oh, oh that's another thing. I'm inserting the needle into the base of the skull. Now I'm destroying the brain cells. Now I'm going down the spinal column. Oh, come on. <laughs> wow. <sighs> what shocking music. Not a bad movie. It's quite entertaining. Some of those locations. Oh. Definitely Melbourne has more buildings than 1978, of course, but where, are those? where was the hospital? be a bad idea just to go back and try and find this place and see if it's still there. Uh, they've probably torn it down though. But maybe they haven't. This is the original hospital that is in Patrick, the movie, where Patrick is staying. Uh, it's still in its original condition, it's still the same. Uh, those are the steps that uh, are at the start with the patient who turns on the uh, entrance sign, whatever it is. That's around there, but it's all sort of fenced off so you can't really get in there. All the houses on uh, Leopold Street are exactly the same. It's amazing. It's like. 40 years ago, Patrick was made. 40. And around to the side, you can see the window that, um, which was the room that Patrick was staying in. I think it's, it's been painted and palm trees still here. It's amazing. I'm gonna have a look around.
really want to know why we keep this miserable creature alive, why he raids thousands of dollars worth of equipment and two nurses of his own. Well, it's been really interesting walking around here and seeing that there are hardly any changes to this place. There's no one in there and I'm not sure if I'm allowed to be here. Of course, I wouldn't do any damage or anything, but you know, no one knows that. Yeah, amazing. It's a great film and it's good to, to uh, revisit uh, the movie, revisit the location. So many great locations in Melbourne where films were made, good films. It'd be good to go and see them. I'll try and see as many as I can. Oh well. This was great. Creepy, but great. I'm sure it's a nice place. I think it's a parish or something. It's probably changed hands a few times in the last 40 years. These buildings can clearly see them in the film and this whole street actually um, yeah this street Leopold Street runs alongside of it and all the houses are still the same you can see them in the film when uh, nurse uh, Kathy she's driving from there towards here you can see the same houses that big building in the background uh, just slightly larger trees it's pretty much it and there's a whole the blocked all the side of it off with uh, this hedge so I think that was there in the film but, uh, yeah amazing nice to see a part of Melbourne that hasn't changed been redeveloped Turn Bill Shorten down a bit. I am in East Melbourne searching for Kathy's house. And I've pretty much been up almost every street. I'm also looking for that white building, the one you can see behind Kathy's house. I actually noticed there's one in Jollymont just over Wellington Parade, not having any. Like, let's go down here. I don't think I've been on this street, but it was Hotham. But this is in Jollymont. East Melbourne's just over Wellington Parade, so it's easy to mistake Jollymont for East Melbourne. So I'm assuming that Kathy's house is in the next street, Charles Street, or the street behind that. Just walking down Charles Street, and um, this is kind of directly behind that building I just showed you before, but there's nothing that even remotely looks like Kathy's house. Okay, on Agnes Street, a garbage truck just went past. Let's see what this... I don't know where her house could have been. These look new. Maybe it was here. Because that would make sense in relation to that tall building, that tall house. This looks like it's been done recently. Been down every street in uh, East Melbourne, and Jollymont, uh, her house is definitely not in either of those suburbs. There's a similar building, uh, no I'm alright, thanks. There's a similar building in uh, Richmond, so we'll just go over there and have a look at that and just sort of go around uh, the block there and just see if we see anything. That's the one I think, I think might be in the film, but the Epworth Hospital there, so... That's the house in the movie. Right there, still here after 40 years. And they must have filmed it from the top of the Epworth. It must have been up there somewhere. I don't think they'll let me up there. Should I ask? We don't know for certain she was trying don't to do it. Don't you see? Patrick was right. He said someone would try to kill him last night and she did. Only he stopped her. He stopped her? Patrick. 
The one that's been in a coma for two years? Three years. I just can't match up the footage from the Alfred to the film. It's just, it's different. And, there's, and there are buildings there, you can clearly see, they're not there now. It's very strange. But if they say that's where it was shot, then... There's, there's a waiting room in the film, but there's no waiting room really anything like that. Even the windows aren't the same, they must have renovated it. The position of reception is not the same. It's completely different. It looks like a different hospital to me, but... I just asked the doctor at the Epworth. I showed him the footage and asked him if this was the Epworth. You know, he said straight away, oh, that's the Alfred. Alfred used to have those chairs. So, there you go, it was shot at the Alfred. I can't see it, but it is 40 years ago. So what have you been up to lately? Oh. I went back to where they filmed the uh, original movie of Patrick from 1978. Patrick? I'm not sure I've seen that one. Uh, made in 1978. I uh, went back to the hospital where they have a bloke called Patrick who's in a coma with his eyes open. So he's like this. <laughs> I don't know about the guy who played Patrick. I've uh, never seen him in anything else. Robert Thompson or something? I don't know. God. <laughs> he didn't have to do much acting. Anyway, I think I might get in the pool. It's getting hot. Good, yeah. Yeah. Good day for it. What's wrong with that nitwit? What are you doing, you pelican? You right? Nah, he's alright. Thank <laughs> you. 